On July 30th, the 11 and 1 Ashland Sevens went to Franklin to meet up with 9 and 3 Franklin. Top of the second, the Sevens bats got going. Daly set to deal. And this is going to be hit up the middle past the reach of the third baseman. One run is into score. It's an RBI single for Dushney. Lawrence Tang comes around to score the first sevens run of the game. Isaac Curley up to third, Calabrese to second. Sam Farrell to the plate. Fielder steps back in, line up and the pitch. And he'll get a piece of this, past the dive of the third baseman. Here comes another sevens run, Calabrese being waved around. He'll score as well, and it's a three nothing lead for the Ashland Sevens. A two RBI single for Sam Farrell. Wind up and the pitch. Cavanaugh gets a good piece of this one into right field. It goes. That'll drop down. One run is in. Here comes another run to score. That'll make it a five to nothing lead. A two RBI single for Dom Cavanaugh. Mason Dushney and Sam Farrell waved around, and the Sevens continue to rally here in the second inning. Five runs scored in the inning. It was a 5-1 to one lead heading into the fourth, and the bats got going once again. 1-1 one, one pitch. That hit him, and a run will score. Tom Cavanaugh hit by a pitch. Mason Dushney comes around to score. And I don't think he minds taking one for the team in that situation. And that'll bring up Kevin Balowitz. A walk here would score yet another sevens run. Full count pitch from Trotten the Balowitz. And he will draw the walk and a run will score. Moving from first to third is James Flores, and then Matt Peterson, who was the DH, takes over at first base as Lawrence Tang to the plate, and he'll get a good piece of this one into right center. That'll drop down for a hit. Here comes Hornung around to score. Kavanaugh is going to be held up at third, an RBI single for Lawrence Tang. And a Belmont Hill, the Hopkinton native, driving in the eighth run of the day for the Ashland Sevens find the plate as you watch four hitters and hit one and this is hit in the air by Larsh high in the air over to center field it's caught runner from third Kavanaugh going to tag and he will score a sacrifice RBI fly out for Nick Larsh Who's me set to deliver and Calabrese makes contact up the right side, into right field it goes. Lead runner going to be waved around, the throw is going to be cut off, and another sevens run scores as Balowitz slides safely into home plate. It's 10-1. to A good piece of hitting there by Nick Calabrese, an RBI single. Five more runs score in the fourth, and Ashland ended up taking the game via a five-inning mercy by a final of 12 to one. Lawrence Tang went three for four at the plate with an RBI and two runs scored. On July 31st, the Ashland Sevens hosted Kingston. Trailing one to nothing, the Sevens bats got rolling in the bottom of the first. of sevens as Dossis gets a piece of this right side is it gonna stay fair yes and here comes a run into score Kramer is around to score and now Balowitz is being waved around he will score as Horning trots up to third Dossis to second it's two to one sevens a two RBI double for Tyler Dossis And Donovan gets a piece of this off the first baseman. Here comes Hornung around to score. It's three nothing sevens. That was a liner right at the first baseman and he couldn't make the play. I think he'll be generous and give him a hit on that one. 
Three runs are in, two on base, no outs here in this bottom of the first. And Tang rips this one to right field. That'll drop down for a hit. Here comes Dossis around to score. Shea Donovan stopped at third, and it's four to nothing, Sevens. RBI single for Lawrence Tang. Bottom of the second, the Ashland Sevens played another pair of runs. Stretch. And Balowitz hits this one in the air over to center field. It's caught. Runner's going to tag from third and head home and score with ease. Five to one sevens. A sacrifice RBI flyout by Balowitz. Line up and the pitch. And he gets a good piece of this one over to left center to the wall. And that'll drop just in front of the wall. Hornung heading over to second base. And that's where he will stay. And that is going to be a stand-up double for Jackson Hornung. Hornung going to try to steal home. And he will! Jackson Hornung stealing home. Makes it 6-1, to one sevens. It was an 8-6 Ashland lead heading to the bottom of the 6th and the 7s added some security. And this is hit in the air right side and that is going to drop and be a fair ball and Dennison is aboard with a single. Dossus do up next. Lennox deals, and this is up the left side, past the dive of the third baseman. Dennison being waved around, and he will come around to score. It's a 9-6 sevens lead. An RBI single for Jackson Hornung. Connor Kramer is half of them. He has four stolen bases. And now Hornung stealing third, and he gets there with ease. Here's number nine. For this game, it'll surprise me if the Sevens don't lead the league in steals. Will they send Horning home? He's already done it once today. Line up and the pitch. And this is hit high in the air over to center field, and it's caught. Horning going to tag, and he will score with ease. A sacrifice RBI flyout for Tyler Dossis. The Sevens would go on to take the 10 to 6 win. Louis Dennison got the win on the mound, while his younger brother Andrew Dennison collected the save. Jackson Hornung went two for three at the plate with a walk, three stolen bases, including a steal home, an RBI, and three runs scored. On Sunday, August 2nd, first place 13 and 1 Ashland met up with second place 12 and 2 Medfield at Schilling Field in Medfield. The winner of this game would claim the number one spot in the playoffs. After a delayed start due to rain, the Sevens bats got rolling. This game was set for a 5 o'clock start, so a little bit late, about 10 minutes late because of thunder and lightning in the area. This is by the third base, been a run scored, throw to first. They'll get the out, but a run does score. one nothing sevens, a sacrifice RBI ground out for Kavanaugh. Donnie, you set to deliver. You certainly got to be careful where you park here at uh, Schilling Field. And he'll get a piece of this. Up the gap, it goes into left field, and another run scores. An RBI single for Dossus. Medfield responded with two runs of their own in the bottom of the first. It was a 3-3 game heading into the top of the fifth until Sam Farrell did this. Line up and the pitch. And he'll get a piece of this one over to center field. It goes to the fence and that is gone! See you later! Sam Farrell with the solo shot! And the Sevens lead it four to three. Sam Farrell going yard. 
That was to left center. That was hit about 355 feet by Sam Farrell, if I had a guess. Strict strike zone, I guess, as this is driven to center field, caught, and the throw to second, they'll double him up. How about that? Sam Palmer was cut off guard, and he thought that was gonna drop in for a hit. Started running to third, it was caught, and a great throw by Farrell to the second baseman. A double him up, and we will head to the top of the six. Ashland leading Medfield four to three. You are two days. Medfield tied things up at four apiece, heading into the seventh. Fan the pitch, and this is ripped up the right side through the reach of the second baseman. Here comes Childs. He'll come around to score, and we're not at that four apiece. But the sevens bats came through yet again. Right up in the pitch. Down low, runner taking off, and he'll slide into second safely. A stolen base for Farrell. The speedy Sam Farrell getting the job done. A nice steal there. Some nice respect shown by Max Goodman, the second baseman, as well. And Farrell a pat on the back. A lot of these players on the field right now familiar with each other from high school play. Midfield, Ashland, Allison, all in the TBL. Donahue set to deliver. Midfield also has warm-up action. And this is ripped up the left side. That'll get through. Farrell going to head over to third, and that's where he'll stay. But a single for Hornung. Two on, no outs. Dom Kavanaugh to the plate. And this is hit high in the air, right side, and caught. And Farrell going to try to tag the throw home. Is not going to be in time. Farrell scores the go-ahead run. What a slide into home plate by Sam Farrell. It's a 5-4 sevens lead. Here to try to close it. Hornung taking off, throw to third. Not going to get there in time. Jackson Hornung sneaking a steal through. It's his second stolen base of the day. Alowitz 0 for 3 at the plate. Takes that low. And now the runner from third gonna try to score, and he will! Jackson Hornung slides in. So Hornung scores on the wild pitch. Doss is up to second. It's a 6 to 4 sevens lead. Wind up in the pitch, up high, runner taking off, throw to third, is gonna get into left field, and now he's gonna try to come around to score, and Dossis will come around and score. Well, how about that, a big risk trying to steal third, but sometimes when you take that risk, you get an errant throw in the left field. It goes off the third baseman's glove, and Dossis scores the seventh run of the game for the Ashland Sevens. And this is up the middle, glove by the shortstop, throw to second, and they will get the force out, and that is your ball game. The Ashland Sevens are the regular season title holders in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League, and they have clinched the first seed in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League playoffs as they take down Medfield by a final of seven to five. The Ashland Sevens score seven runs on six hits, commit one error, Medfield five runs on 10 hits and commit two errors. And the Ashland Sevens, a tremendous victory here today, will finish regular season play with 14 wins and a loss. Medfield will finish their regular season with 12 wins and three losses. Sam Farrell collected the Andrew Sternick Award Going one for two at the plate. He was also hit twice, scored three runs, and of course had a go ahead solo shot in the fifth inning. Tyler Dossis pitched six solid innings in the game and collected the win. Dylan Fonseca closed out the seventh for the save. The 14 and 1 Ashland Sevens next host 16th seeded Kingston at a time, date, and place to be determined in their first Massachusetts Independent Baseball League playoff matchup.